CSRF stands for Cross-Site Request Forgery. A CSRF attack allows us to perform actions on behalf of another user, usually just by having them click a link. In the case here, we have a password change field that allows us to change our password by entering in what our new password would be, and then confirming our password in the box below that. If we type the word password into both input fields and select change, you'll notice that we get the text password change, and the URL of the site also looks pretty different. If we examine the URL a little deeper, we see that there are two parameters, password new and password conf, that have been set to password, which is what we entered in the input box. We can see that the new password and its confirmation are in the URL, as this is a get request to change the password of the current logged in user. If I were to send this link to another user using this application, let's say the person's name is Bob, if Bob were to click this link while signed into the application, his password would be automatically changed to password without any other confirmation needed. This is because all of the parameters needed to change the password and make the request as the user are in the URL of this GET request. 